We close tonight with a problem that has proven hard to dispose of. Contessa Brewer now on the scourge of the flushable wipe. In San Antonio, they cheered, clearing the clog. In Australia, a crane pulled out this fatberg, a glob of wipes, grease, and other items. The problem starts here, when wipes go from the back of the toilet into it. And 7% of wipes are labeled flushable. New York City estimates it spends $3 million a year just dealing with wipes in the sewer system. Whatever you flush is going to end up somewhere, it doesn't just disappear, uh, and the sewage passes through. A Deputy Environmental Protection Commissioner there. Vincent Sapienza showed us the screening process, but it doesn't catch everything. Wipes are getting into our gear, clogging them up, and then we're not able to process as much wastewater as we normally would. You come into the belly of the beast and you can see there are remnants of wipes everywhere, gunking up the system. The workers have to clean that out by hand. Now consider this plant only treats the incoming sewage of about a million people. System-wide, you're looking at enough gunk collected to fill 18 Olympic-sized swimming pools every year. Kimberly Clark, a manufacturer of flushable wipes, told CBS News, our flushable products are thoroughly tested to ensure that they meet the current U.S. industry guidelines for flushability. The industry, INDA, has firm criteria. Wipes have to break down when flushed. But manufacturers' compliance is voluntary. No laws regulate how flushable they are. President Dave Roos blames non-flushable wipes for the clogs. There is absolutely no evidence presented by anyone at any time that a, a guideline compliant wipe flushed down a toilet has caused any damage or any issue anywhere. And it's because they don't. But New York City is not alone, tackling legislation now to regulate flush away brands. Our preference is if you're going to use a wipe, that's fine, put it in the trash. That's the bottom line. Contessa Brewer, CBS News, New York.